Hey, what's up, y'all? Most of y'all know by now that trucking is no longer that go-to job marketplace it used to be when the recession began. You really have to face the reality now if you're wanting to come into trucking to go to work right away because there may not be a job there waiting for you to go to. Um, a lot of guys now are going to school and having to wait extended periods of time before they ever find a trucking company that will even um, call them back, much less call them to tell them to come on in and start training. So the reality is that even though you can go to school, and the school will gladly take you because they're going to still get paid, or at least you'll still owe them. You don't have the money to pay them, you can't pay them. But the point is, a school will accept you, and they'll train you, and they'll charge you. It doesn't mean that you'll be able to go from there right away and get a job. So that's the reality of, of today's uh, work environment in the trucking industry. Now as far as the future, personally if you saw my video from earlier this year, um, I feel that, that what I said then is... A lot of y'all asking me if trucking is still a smart safe investors move. To take advantage of cheap stock. You have smart investors starting to take advantage of cheap real estate. And that's going to begin a cycle. That's going to give the news media something positive to report, which will instill in the general public some hope. So they're going to start reporting that housing sales are up, that this, and you're going to see that the market is going up. And so eventually companies will start back to hiring, uh, increasing their production, and um, people want to get jobs back. People are going to start spending money. The news is going to report that. The more uh, things get better, the more they report that they're getting better, and the more confident people will feel in participating back in the economy like they used to. You know, People are going to start spending money again. And as everyone starts getting more relaxed, you know, then like I said, the economy just starts back to build. Companies start producing more goods because the demands of their goods are up. And they're going to need raw materials and other products to produce their goods. Who's going to bring in that stuff? Who's going to take their finished goods to retail outlets? Is it, I feel that what I said then is playing out pretty close right now. And um, so the economy is picking up. And I still feel like next year, by the springtime, that things will have picked up so much so that we can expect to see a rise in the need for truckers again. This year, 2009, a lot of companies scaled back on production, got rid of a lot of inventory on hand, and um, so next year, you know, they'll probably start restocking and getting back into production with new product lines and stuff that's already in demand. So once they do start back in production, what they produce is probably going to be something that they have a pretty good indication that the public already wants or needs. And so I feel like, you know, as things, and that is a good way for things to grow and pick back up. None of this artificial stuff, you know, to go on and, and provide stimulation. But when the companies are producing goods and providing services that people actually need and would therefore buy, then you have a continuous forward movement and things get back to a more comfortable situation, you know? It's not going to be magic. I don't know why people act like things are supposed to correct themselves next week, next month. It's, it's not going to happen like that. And if it does happen like that, then it's a problem. That's that's superficial to what got us in the recession in the first place. So if you see a very quick recovery like that, uh, look out. But things should be picking up next year, in my opinion, and they should continue to grow even though we'll see other companies go on and we'll still see banks go on and we'll see top execs and people um, being exposed as corruption continues and this and that and the other. But that's going to filter out eventually and like I said, we'll continue to grow and the need will pick up again. And if you have your CDLs, you'll probably, probably, probably be in line to get on the big road, dope. But again, if you need an immediate employment, I don't think you can depend so much on the trucking industry to provide that. Probably people that makes a lot of phone calls and your record is beautiful and great and lovely and especially if you already had some experience before and you're coming back out, you might be able to find a job sooner. You know, the better your record, the sooner you'll be able to find something, you'll be the first that the people call. I guess they can be selective right now. But um, other than that, you want to take this opportunity to train yourself, you know. If you want to go get the CDLs, you know, that's fine. Just don't go do it thinking that you're going to be able to leave there immediately and go get a job, you know. But so if that's not going to be acceptable to you, then you know you take advantage of this downtime. Don't sit around 
listen to these people waiting for things to get back to the way they were yesterday. Your company might not call you back. You got to evaluate what it was that you was doing at your company. You got to realize that it's a new day. It's a new environment. Things are changing, which is normal. You know, as time goes on, things change. The situation evolves into something different than what it was. Don't expect yesterday to be here again tomorrow, you know? So you got to prepare yourself for what you feel like based on your research and observation of what's going on is going to put you in the right place for taking advantage of what exists in the future, you know? So you might want to get training in something that's related to green jobs or um, clean environment or productivity software or, you know, um, internet marketing, advertising, network security, um, the medical field, especially when you're talking about uh, healthcare related, you know, baby boomers, we all, we all getting to be old farts. Mathematics don't lie, baby. So, you know, that, 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 that healthcare industry is, is placed in the same situation as trucking. In the sense that there's no way to avoid the fact that personnel, facilities, which means equipment, which means maintenance of, you know, all that, you know, that's, that's, that's there. And that's in line for the future. If you're looking for a direction in which to invest so you can prepare yourself to have gainful employment. You know? Well, I don't want to talk to the devil. You ain't come here to hear me do all the talking. Right here, right now. It's one place, it's one time. Spread your time around and visit the site, man. I'm getting carried away. Hey! <laughs> Did I run? I'm out of time. I kill me.